the dissolution process is the process by which salts dissolve in water. So normally we have, you know, our beaker of water right here, and we have our little salt crystal right here, and we take our salt crystal and put it in the water, and it breaks up into these little smaller chunks until eventually it's all dissolved and all we have is this solution that is, you know, clear or colored depending on the salt, but we can't see any more salt crystals in it. So the question we want to answer today is how does this process happen and what causes these crystals to disappear as they dissolve? First, we need to look at the structure of a water molecule. So here we have our water molecule with an electronegative oxygen up top and two hydrogens down low. Due to the electronegativity of this oxygen molecule, this OH bond is polar, giving us a partial negative on the oxygen end and a partial positive charge on the hydrogen end. So the overall polarity of the molecule is negative towards the oxygen end. If we look at the composition of a salt, we have a metal cation that is positively charged and a non-metal anion that is negatively charged. These two particles are electrostatically attracted to each other and form an ionic compound. When we take an ionic compound and we put it in water, the polar water molecules interact with the cations and anions, and so the water molecules will orient themselves as so. These electrostatic interactions are so strong that the water molecules will begin to wedge themselves in between these ions and pull them apart from one another. And these rings of water molecules are referred to as a sphere of hydration because in three dimensions, you know, these cations are round spheres and there's a water, there's water covering the surface, creating a sphere of hydration. And so when a salt goes into water, we see it start to break up and dissolve. And this is the process that is happening. These water molecules are electrostatically attracted to these ions. And so they begin to wedge themselves between them and kind of pull them apart until they're all separated and surrounded in a sphere of hydration. And when that occurs, that is when we can no longer see the salt in the solution and it is considered a dissolved salt. And so this is the whole dissolution process.